Hey guys, it's Nadine and I'm here to do a video about how I print my smaller pictures uh, for my project life. And this was a video request by Angie and I'm actually going to do a two-part video. The first part is actually going to be how I print on my PC and the second one is going to be how I print using my Mac. So, what you guys see here is my actual file folder on my desktop that has all of my pictures. Um, this is just one file folder of um, home. Um, you all know I'm originally from Hawaii and I have tons of pictures from home. And so what I'm going to show you is exactly how I print this out, um, which is really, really, really simple. I am not a computer genius at all. Um, everything I am teaching you is exactly how I do it and I have pretty much taught myself because I couldn't really find good tutorials <laughs> about how to do this. Um, so here we go. Alright, so as I said, this is my file folder with all of my Hawaii pictures in it, or some of them actually. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click, I'm going to pick two pictures to print. So, let's see, let me pick this one of a monk seal. So I'm going to left click on this picture and then I'm going to, in order to be able to select other pictures without losing this one, what you're going to do is you're going to hold down the CTRL or control key on your keyboard and then go ahead and click whatever other pictures you want to select. So as you can see, I now have two pictures. So I, I have this one right here. See my little arrow? This one right there that's highlighted and then this one right here. Now with this control key hold, held down, you can pretty much go to town and pick as many pictures as you would like to print all at the same time. Um, so they're depending on what size printing you pick, um, you know, you can have uh, several on a page, all right? Alrighty, so we, I've selected my pictures that I want to print and now I'm going to either do one of two things. So the first is you can come up here and right here, I'm going to zoom in, see that it says print. I can click that and it'll bring me up to a pop-up screen, which is this pop-up screen or, uh, let me cancel this, or I can just click on again the pictures that I chose and I can right click and it's going to from the drop off drop down menu I'm gonna pick the fifth option from the top which says print and again it'll take me to that same pop-up screen see that all right so let me pull this screen a little bit more into frame for you all alrighty so on this print screen what you the only things you want to mess with is this right here which says paper size this area here which allows you to pick the type of photo the size of photos you want to print and then this little area right here that says fit picture to frame see that and I'm going to explain that in a second all right alrighty so let me zoom out again and I took a picture of a monk seal he's a sunbathing um alrighty so let's start off with paper size so paper size basically if you clicked on the drop down menu it has different kinds of um, sizes of paper that you can use so you can use letter you can use index card 4 by 6 which really is not an index card I mean you could print on index card no joke you can pretty much print on anything um, but usually I print on photo paper, uh, glossy photo paper, and usually it is a four by six size glossy paper, okay? Or you can choose a five by seven if you have five by sevens, eight by 10, legal, and then there's more. But for the purpose of this video, we're gonna keep it simple and I'm just gonna keep it to letter, which is an eight and a half by 11, all right? So now moving over to this side right here, um, I'm gonna focus on here. So here's the thing, on a PC, um, these are the normal sizes that you can choose from, okay? And for my project life, I like to keep it small. Usually, on occasion, I go for a 4x6 because some of the 
protector pages have four by six areas and if you print out a picture like that it's perfect it just goes straight in there no big deal um, but majority of the time I am printing smaller ones so I normally pick this wallet size okay um, let me just yeah I, I usually pick this this uh, wallet size right here but you know what let me I'm gonna reverse for a minute here. I'm gonna cancel this and I'm actually gonna pick nine pictures just for shits and giggles um, to make use of paper, okay? So I got those two right there. Um, let me pick one, two, three, four, mm, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Alrighty, so I picked nine pictures. And then let's go back and right click. Okay, now I have nine pictures so that I can show you guys what it looks like. So then I'm here again into my options and I'm gonna click the nine wallet. And here is what it's gonna look like on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, whether it be photo paper or right now I'm just gonna print it on regular printer paper um, and not good quality either because it's just a, this is just a sample. Um, Okay, so every single picture that's on this page is basically going to be a two by three size. All right. Um, now, if I unchecked this fit picture to frame box right here, I'm going to show you. As you can see, it goes it goes smaller. It actually makes the picture smaller. So, um, it depends on what you're looking for. If you want your pictures to be exactly two by threes, then I would keep the fit picture to frame area here checked off, okay? Now, let's get this printed. And here it goes to my computer printing, all right? Now, I'm also gonna show you guys what it would look, at, look like if I printed it and I didn't want it to be fit picture to frame okay so I'm gonna unclick that I'm gonna go ahead and choose again nine wallets here's the nine pictures that I chose all on the one eight and a half by eleven uh, sheet and then I'm gonna print it as well alrighty now let me show you something really quickly about one of the options on our print screen so if I scroll down here on the right side, you're going to see right here, it says contact sheet, okay? And let me tell you why a contact sheet is valuable or can be valuable to you. It's valuable to me. Um, what I do is I oftentimes take a crap load of pictures, okay? And many times I don't have time to sit there and look through every single picture and... Um, delete the ones I don't want or you know know which ones I want right off the bat for my project life so what I will do is I will print a contact sheet and what it does is it usually prints it can print whatever my latest update was that I downloaded to my camera or it can print an entire file of pictures that I have those are great because what it does is it allows me since I'm a very visual person to print out on a regular 8.5 by 11 computer printer paper um, in not really great quality too because I don't need it to be great quality and it acts as a proof so what I do is I go back I look at all of the pictures that I've taken on that I usually cross out the ones that I don't want to keep on my computer that takes up space and then I circle the ones that I said you know what this is what I want to use for project life so that's what I use my contact sheet for and it can be very like I said very very handy then when I have time, I will go back and utilize that contact sheet and I will start deleting based on what I crossed out, all of the pictures that I crossed out on my computer so that way I free up space. I also print out the ones, I also go back and then I print out the ones that I've actually circled to use in my project life. So that's just another really uh, fun little tidbit that I have for you all. Alrighty, so while I was telling you all that, my printer has printed out uh, the uh, pictures okay so I think you might have a hard time seeing it but here are the pictures and they're not great quality like I said because this is just as a sample okay but here they are and actually they might be hold on a second I don't have a this is not two by three it's actually three and a half by five no 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 wait a second 
the size of these wallets are three and a half by two and a half. So two and a half by three, which is still great for project life, okay? Um, now let's check out the other one. So if you wanted it even smaller and you did the, you unchecked the fit picture to frame, it's gonna actually give you the size of the file. And so if you look at this one, in this printout, it actually takes up the entire two and a half by three and a half size versus this one, it is smaller. So you, you know, you can figure out which one you wanna use or whatever. Um, so yeah, those are the pictures that I printed out. The little turtle from an underwater dive, um, starfish, and little monk seal, and of course the uh, famous diamond head, and this is my girlfriend <laughs> uh, on the beach. So okay, uh, one of my best friends on the beach. Alrighty, so that's that. Now let's check out something, and this is totally uh, I am going to learn with you guys right now because I've never really done this, but let's check it out. So I'm going to go back to the print menu and I want to see if I can actually print it smaller than that two and a half by three and a half. So let's see here. If I click options, no, I guess not. Well, I guess we're SOL guys. <laughs> I think two and a half by three and a half is the smallest other than the contact sheet size that you can actually get on a PC. But like I said, it still works for Project Life. Um, I find that my Mac, like I said, uh, can actually, um, has more options as far as size of picture goes. But listen ladies, this works just as well. So this is how you print uh, smaller pictures for your Project Life layouts on a PC. Uh, I hope this helps you. Angie, if it uh, if it answers your questions, let me know. If it doesn't, let me know again. Um, I will, you know, if it doesn't help you or if you need more explanation, let me know. I will be glad to help you in any way I can. Um, and I appreciate you all watching. I hope this was helpful. And I will be back with my second video on how to print smaller pictures utilizing your Mac.